So you've interned and you're working at Obvious right now, right? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us more about the hiring process? The hiring process, of course. I've been doing a lot of hiring, so I can. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the hiring process at Obvious is three steps. Uh, so the first is opinion questions. This is the application process where um, we ask applicants to fill out answers to about five questions. These range from what kind of role do you see um, yourself playing at Obvious? What uh, kind of role do you see Obvious playing in your life? And what your recent design learnings have been? This is just to um, get the ball rolling to figure out how um, enthusiastic people are about design and like um, just to assess their different skills um, up front. And uh, if we do like these answers and we feel like there's a fit over here where like we can add value to this person's career and they can add value to our company's culture, uh, then we will take it forward to the next round, which is a screening call where uh, they will get on a call with uh, one of our designers. Uh, so typically we just talk about um, their experiences, what they hope to do, and try to um, understand uh, how, I mean, what kind of designers they think they are, whether or not they see themselves as generalists or specialists, ICs or managers, where their uh, skills lie, where their weaknesses lie. Uh, just to touch upon a bunch of different topics, just as a feeler. And if this call goes well, uh, we um, invite them for the third stage, which is a day at Obvious. So this, uh, from the outside, can seem a little strenuous, but... Um, it is uh, essentially, uh, again, split up into two large segments. The first is a portfolio round, where we ask the applicant to uh, present one project of theirs to a, to a panel of designers from Obvious. And this um, quite often goes on for about two hours, sometimes one hour. It depends on how each applicant's answers are going. And um, over there, we're just trying to gauge how well, I mean, like, you know, how they approach problems, how they solve them, how, uh, whether or not they're thinking like consultants, whether they're thinking like product designers and so on and so forth. And this is then followed up by uh, individual interviews with uh, everyone who was on the panel. Nice. Can you tell us more about the design team? How many designers are there on the team? Sure. So our design team consists currently has uh, 18 people so that would be uh, 16 designers who work on projects and uh, Dhruv and I who play a more supp supporting role okay that's very nice